Well, today marks the end of the first weekend in Ohio without health orders, but experts have noticed a trend of increased crime, and they say they're on the lookout for more rule breaking in the future. Two News reporter Aaliyah Williamson spoke with an expert to learn the reason why and what can be done. Masks aren't mandated, capacities aren't limited, and life can return to the way it was before coronavirus shut down our cities and our world. But University of Dayton sociologist Dr. Art Gibson says getting back to normal is not that easy. Moments of ambiguity can be not only anxiety and frustration producing, but can also lead to a whole host of behaviors that are highly problematic. Dr. Gibson says varying rules from store to store, a concern about COVID risks that may linger, or miscommunication could wreak havoc on what were once simple social settings. Having to communicate electronically to being back in the rooms together, we're, we're dealing with a whole set of challenges kind of reintegrating our forms of interaction and communication. And after more than a year of being separated and restricted, humans tend to shift to riskier behavior. And that might lead to decisions that, 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 that of course, we would be deeply concerned about, whether it's drunk driving or whether it's someone is for the first time releasing many pent up frustrations or more tame behavior. People might engage in tamer behavior or less risky behavior. That is, it's perfectly safe to go, go out and go to a show, but they may not feel comfortable doing that. But one way we can all move forward to the new normal is by communicating. You're communicating with the benefit of the doubt. That, that, that we're all going through an unprecedented experience and we're maybe hungry for connection. Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.